let's talk about these masks for a little bit. I've seen some people training with some different masks and stuff. Like what's, uh, I think people can uh, simulate like altitude training and things like that. I, I'm not sure exactly well, what they're using them for. Maybe you can give us a rundown. You've got, you've got a few different ways to, to train the inspiratory and expiratory muscles and diaphragm and oxygen tolerance. One would be via resisted breathing. So resisted breathing would be literally breathing out against resistance. So there are devices that you could take on a walk. Like there's one called the relaxator where you can only breathe in through your nose. And then when you breathe out, gotcha, yeah. there's a little hole that you can adjust the resistance through which you're breathing out. It's like so, the, the boss rooting thing that we mm-hmm, had. When, uh, yeah. Bo- boss rooting. Very similar. There, there's a, there's another one called the NEM star, but basically it's increasing the, the resistance to typically your exhale while having some mechanism to where you're not able to inhale through your mouth. You have to inhale through your nose and all that's going to do is increase your carbon dioxide tolerance and also train the inspiratory and expiratory muscles and the diaphragm because you're typically exhaling against resistance. So it's almost like weight training for your inspiratory and expiratory muscles. Uh, another form of breath work would be restricted breathing, not resisted breathing, but restricted breathing. This would be like the free diving classic apnea tables where you're holding your breath for a certain period of time, then exhaling and holding that for a certain period of time. You could say something like Wim Hof or a lot of these breath work sessions that are popular. That would also be a form of restricted breathing or even doing something like going on a walk and every telephone pole, you're breathing out all your oxygen and taking as many steps as you can with empty lungs, right? And and there's some effect in terms of CO2 tolerance that can be advantageous for endurance adaptations that occur during something like that. And then the um the training mask that you were talking about if it's like that classic like bane like <laughs> exercise training mask they used to call that the elevation training mask and they actually changed the name cuz they realized that they were kind of getting laughed at based on the fact that it's not reducing the amount of oxygen molecules in the ambient air that you're breathing as would occur at elevation all it is is that's basically resisted breathing Ah. right and based on a little dial on that thing there is more resistance to the amount of air that you're breathing in and the amount of air that you're breathing out and in addition to that because you've got like a little uh, area next to your mouth where carbon dioxide is building up every time that you exhale you're technically also increasing your tolerance to co2 and the cool thing about that is again that not only improves your ability to be able to tolerate a a, a higher endurance load because you're just training yourself to be able to put up with more CO2 and put up with more lactic acid. But there are some like uh, anxiety uh, therapists who will have people literally breathe CO2. I think James Nestor talks about this in his book, Breath. They'll breathe CO2. There's even a machine called the Carbogen. And when you train your CO2 tolerance and your body's ability to be able to have higher levels of CO2, there's an anxiolytic effect. And that's probably why breath work helps a lot of people who have stress or trauma. Is that a little bit similar anxiety. to the old paper bag thing that people yeah. would do? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. It's, it's very, very much like that. So it's just more expensive and cooler and <laughs> talked about in a book. So the, the CO2 tolerance training is something that you would also get from that mask. But I think that from from a little bit more advanced standpoint, you might be referring to these masks that you'll see people wear that are typically attached to a unit that's either concentrating or decreasing the amount of oxygen that you breathe. That would be like Hypoxico or Live O2 or Cell Gym, where these are literally creating air that you're breathing that more simulates the type of air you'd be breathing at, say, like 13,000 feet elevation, where it literally is reducing the amount of oxygen in the ambient air that you're breathing. And that would be true elevation training without having to go to a mountaintop to do it. Mm. And I like that idea because if you're doing altitude training, ideally you've got a train high, live low scenario. You're training high 
but you're not because you're not living high under the constant stress of oxygen depletion. Mm -hmm. Rather, it's like this hormetic effect of training at mm -hmm. hypoxia, and then after you've done that, whatever you're you're driving down out of you know Mexico City or or Park City or or Big Sur or wherever back down to where your your condo or your hotel or your Airbnb, and then you got to get in your car and drive all the way back up for like you know a couple of weeks of mm -hmm. altitude training, which a lot of athletes will do like in altitude training camp. But if you have the the pocketbook, you could actually buy an altitude training unit like that and just put it in your gym and do your training. Thirty k under hypoxia. I think like I I have the live O two. I think that one's like ten k. Mm -hmm. I think the hypoxia units vary, but they're like ten to fifteen k. I think the cell gyms similar to the live O two, like like around ten k. Mm -hmm. Um and and. That's pretty cool to have around for for simulating hypoxic training, but then also being able to live low. So, yeah, so that's the deal that's with dope. the masks. Pat Project family, we appreciate you checking out this clip. Check out another one. Just, just, just go check out another one. Or comment down below and let us know what you liked about this one. But we love you guys, and we're going to keep bringing you the heat. So comment, subscribe, and all that good stuff. Okay? Peace.